Hey guys, welcome to another episode of NetSec Now. Today what we're going to discuss is Google dorking. I've had a lot of requests since we put out the uh, SQL injection or SQLI uh, videos and the subsequent you know, web website hacking series we've been uh, discussing and going over. So I want to do this in multi parts only because you know it takes a while to get familiar with even the basics of Google dorking. Uh, and what Google dorking basically is, is it's an advanced uh, feature built into Google search engine that allows you to you know target keywords, target URLs and file types and sites and things like that. So it'll be a multi part series. Like I said, uh, we're going to start off today with the very basics and understanding how it kind of works. Uh, I do have, I believe, one example to show you uh, in certain aspects of, you know, certain things we're going to use in terms of the actual Google dorks themselves. Now, once you understand the basics, you can see that, you know, there's a wide array of things you can actually do with Google dorking. So this helps us as pen testers to narrow things down to one particular website. Like, say, if we're working for, you know, XYZ.com and they say, hey, you know, we want you to do a pen test on you know, our web application or website, you know, the security of it, a login system, the database, the whole nine yards. Now that's not including uh, obviously the actual server itself, which you would be using Metasploit and, uh, you know, things like that. So let's get right down to it. I created a bit very basic, uh, you know, text file here with some of the common simple Google dorks. Um, so we're going to go over them one by one. So you have all in text, and that basically searches for occurrences of all the keywords given. So you type in all in text, colon, quote, um, you know, admin area or something, end quote, and hit search on Google. Um, that's pretty much, it's going to search for all the keywords on a given website, any kind of, you know, metadata that's in the website. So the next one you have is in text. Now that's going to... Um, it's kind of like all in text, but it searches for the occurrences of keywords all at once or one at a time. Um, they're very similar, so it's up to you. I usually just use in text uh, unless you want to be very specific. Um, in URL, uh, you've seen that in the SQL map, um, you know, for beginners video that we made. Uh, if not, uh, check out our channel and, and review that uh, before we go any further. Uh, in URL is basically you're specifying a URL and parameters to look for. So, um, you know, let's say all in your are uh, in URL uh, colon. It always has to the the Google dork always has to uh, end with a colon or I mean I'm sorry start with a colon after the actual syntax of what you're putting it in. So it's in URL colon uh, quote, um, you know, www.site.com forward slash admin login.php or something, end quote, right? Uh, all in URL, basically the same idea as all in text and in text. Uh, Search for a URL matching all the keywords in the query. Uh, in title, uh, there's a title tag in websites, whether you're using HTML or, you know, PHP or whatever. Um, if you're not familiar with that, you know, you can you can uh, go to w3schools.com and learn some more about HTML. But in title basically searches for what comes up on the title of a page. In fact, uh, if we open up our web page here, you can see that the title actually says learn, net, net, learn network security TAC NETSEC now. So if we wanted to search for anything with NETSEC now, we would do that. And we're going to use a few examples here. I'm going to show you in just a minute. Uh, so all in title again, same thing. Uh, site specifically searches that particular site and lists all the results for that site. Um, so again, site colon quote www.learnnetsec.com end quote and uh, you know you could search that specific site and then you could put something after that like you want to search for you know forums or blog or you know comments or something uh, and again we'll be doing some examples here file type is pretty interesting uh, because you can search for file types only that end in dot php dot um, txt dot pwd you know any file extensions that that match a certain type that you're looking for so like if you're looking for um, you know just text files or pdfs or something like that you could do that uh, so link searches for uh, external links to pages. So if you want to see, you know, what pages are linked to it, you can use that. Uh, num range, I've actually never used this one, used to locate specific numbers in your searches. And date range, also used uh, for a specific or particular date range. So let's go ahead and step through some of these. Um, I'm not going to go through all in text. I'm going to use in text, which is really common, in URL, um, in title, site, and file type. So 
you can actually um, combine the, the Google dorks in the syntaxes in the search engine itself and, and we'll go through that as well. So basically what I want to do here is I'm going to open up Google. I already have a uh, website that I found um, Then I want to search for some content. So uh, what I want to do is go site colon and I think I'm going to go ahead and put the quotation mark here and I want to search for um, admin login. Now you can see that all of the results down here are going to come up with snowcountry.com okay and you're gonna see here where it says admin login that's part of the uh, metadata of the actual websites you know it's hard coded in there it's a link uh, you can see the very first link obviously points us directly to the admin area right so if we went ahead and clicked on that we'd be in the Adam uh, admin area so uh, you can kinda of see how that works now putting the text after it's kinda of like putting in text uh, colon quote and end quote here it's the same idea so uh, you could see here it'll be highlighted though when you put in text uh, it, you know it'll be bolded so that's basically how that works um, and that's combining both in text and specifically that site now let's go down to the um, next one here uh, actually if you want to just do in text just to show you and you just want to, you know, blanket Google and try to find everything with uh, admin login in the text of the website somewhere. You can go ahead and do that. So you can see our very first link here is some sort of library in uh, admin login. And if we went ahead and clicked on that, you can see it's a login page here for some sort of uh, librarian stuff or something. Um, now, again, you know, in text is kind of, unless you specify the actual website that you're, you're working with, is going to give you every result in Google uh, that has the words admin login in somewhere in the text of the website. Now, uh, let's go ahead and step down to the next one here in URL. Okay, so you could probably remember if you watched the SQL map, um, you know, uh, SQL injections video that we did uh, not too long ago. Um, you probably saw me do some Google dorking and I said maybe I might make a video or some, something like that. Um, so if we go in URL, it's in URL and we're going to do, um, you know, we want to look for PHP files. Now again, this is also like um, the file command too. So in URL, PHP, comma, and then we're just going to put ID equals something. Now again, that's going to actually blanket uh, the entire web of what Google has cached and bring up every single result. Now again, you could combine this um, with the actual uh, website. So let's just go ahead and click on this here and let's copy the actual URL and we'll go back here and I'll show you. So you can do this as a direct URL if you're working with a website and let me just get rid of all this here at the end and you can see again you know it brings it up so many of these um, Google Dorks are kind of redundant and you'll learn that as you're using them um, you can you know do most of the stuff without entering in the actual um, you know Google Dork itself so for instance if we just wanted to look for uh, Sadeco whatever this site is here we could actually probably take away this whole in URL thing here and just go ahead and hit enter and of course you can see it still comes up uh, as well so all of this is just now for the Sadiko website because we specified that again if we just specify dot PHP ID equals you're gonna see it's gonna come up with everything and again Sadiko is there as well so um, let's go ahead and step down into the next one here we're gonna do in title now I kinda like using in title because um, sometimes when you have indexes of websites where they don't put like a index.html or index.php or index.asp or aspx in that case um, in the actual directory of where the file structure is like you know like you have certain CMS's that you know have an includes folder and stuff like that if you don't dump a default index.html it could be blank or .php or something in there you can actually pull up a directory structure listing 
that's bad because now we can actually step through directories we can go through parent directories in some cases and you can find all sorts of juicy details in there sometimes you know text documents PDFs things that shouldn't normally be put out on the web unless they wanted to specifically link it to their site I'll show you how that works as well so I want to go to do in title and here we go I'm just gonna use one of the ones I was messing around with yesterday so index of that gives us a directory directory listing now you're gonna notice it's in the title of the actual web page so if we went ahead and uh, clicked on this one here let's just say you could see it brings up the directory listing of Perry now if we went to parent directory of course it's probably just gonna bring us right to the website and yes of course it did but you can see here that uh, they did not put an index.html or index.php in here as a specific, um, you know, just a blank page to prevent this type of directory listing from becoming public. So if we just went and, um, I don't know, went to go look at download.html, and you can see it's just a link to a download page, and we could click that, and it brings us right back into the directory of Perry. Uh, now there's some exes in here. Um, I probably wouldn't click any of those. Uh, let's see here. Is there any kind of PDFs? Yeah, it's not really looking like it. And I'm not really going to step through all these directories. So let's go all the way back to Google. Now, if I wanted to say look for everything with PDFs, remember if we looked in here, we went uh, with file type, right? So after index of, I'm going to put file type colon, and I'm going to put uh, PDF. And let's go ahead and search that. Now you can see here, this might bring us directly to the PDF. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else here. Now, that pretty much brings you right to the PDF. Now, if I wanted to look for something that was a text file, I'll just type in the extension here as text. And let's just uh, go ahead and find, I don't know, we'll click any of these links here. Now you can see this is linking you to a text file up here. Now, if you want to say, um, you know, you're looking for a specific type of uh, name of a file. Uh, for instance, uh, let's see. Whoops. Now you could just type in. Uh, this is short for password, obviously. Uh, dot text, and you can see that there's a. Uh, something in here and it brings us into here now if we scroll down it's usually in alphabetical order here we can find the section where it's P and if you looked at this here obviously this is a honeypot so you know they're they're tracking us right now but uh, be wary of that as well um, in any case you can see kinda how that works uh, if we went to I don't know let's try this place here and Let's go to password.txt, and of course this is probably another honeypot here as well. Um, I don't know. We'll yeah, we'll not mess with this website anymore. Um, but you can basically see that there's you know certain things you can do with this to you know click around and find things that aren't really normally supposed to be out there. And here you go. This is a perfect example. Now this wasn't a honeypot that I know of anyway. And it says password.txt. And we clicked on that. It said password, which I think is German for password, if I'm not mistaken, equals J. So now we have somebody's password. Whose is it? We don't really know. Let's try name.txt and city.food. So who knows? Is that an admin login or something? Is that some sort of uh, you know login for a mail system? We don't really know. Um, a lot of times you'll find that uh, you know anything with a, a BAK extension is like a backup. So you could see like um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just click on this one here, and you could see that there's you know a bunch of different back files. Now I believe you can open those in Windows. Um, I haven't tried it in Linux to be honest with you, but uh, I know that generally that's a Windows backup extension. So uh, you could see here G Shadow dot back. Uh, that might be the shadow. This might be the shadow password dot back. I mean, you know, there's it's endless what you can find with Google Dorking. 
Uh, so I hope I'm not rambling on here, guys. I'm just trying to drive home the fact that, you know, Google dorking is a pretty powerful tool for, you know, penetration testers and network security auditors um, because we can narrow our search results down to a specific customer's website. Um, you know, if we were, uh, let's say, I have a site that I'm going to use here. Site, and I'm looking for, in this site, um, I don't know, let's see what kind of crafty search we can use here. Um, in title, maybe we'll use, and we'll go uh, in title, and we'll do, I don't know, admin. Let me get rid of this space here. Nothing came back for that. So let's try to put it in quotations. Maybe that's something that uh, might help us. And of course, it's not coming back. So again, you know, don't be surprised if you're not getting the results you want. Uh, it does take some crafty, you know, searching. Uh, we could try to do index, see if that comes back with anything, and it's not. So um, that's pretty much the basics of Google dorking, guys. Now, of course, uh, you can expand upon this, like I said before, if we wanted to go to, let's just uh, go to this website, look for something that we want to check out here. And let's go here. Okay, so, um, you know, maybe we're looking for, you know, an, a SQL injection or something. So, of course, we would do our ID equals, and then we would do the comma afterwards. And it doesn't look like this is uh, susceptible to it. But, um, again, guys, you could really go through this and, and do your own research. Uh, I hope to... Um, create a more advanced list for you because there's a lot more to Google dorking than just this basic stuff that I just went over. Uh, but do some of this, practice some of this. I'm going to probably upload this to our website, uh, learnnetsec.com uh, in the download section um, and put it out there for you guys so you have a copy of this. Uh, you know, and uh, the changes that we've made to the website recently, which uh, quite a few people have asked me, is the download section. Um, we put in a kind of like CrackStation for their password list. We've put in um, a donate, uh, you know, donate where links to the downloads, if you will. Um, so, you know, it's just trying to really help pay for the hosting and, you know, the time and stuff spent on, you know, creating content and videos and, and things like that. We also have the main, you know, donations link up on the front page, which you can use PayPal securely and anonymously to make a donation of whatever amount you seem fit, which we've got quite a few into those guys. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. That uh, definitely helps pay the bills here, um, putting this stuff together for you guys. Uh, so when you go to download something, it's going to um, pass you along to a PayPal page. I mean, you know, most people donate at least a dollar, uh, more the better, I guess. Um, but uh, I appreciate every little bit, every little bit helps keep the project going, paying for the hosting and, you know, my time to uh, put out content. Uh, so I, I do appreciate that, guys. And again, I'd, I'd ask everybody to please try to refer your comments and questions over to our community page on the website, uh, learnnetsec.com, uh, because it's really kind of crazy to answer everything on Facebook and then stuff on Google Plus and stuff on Twitter and stuff on, you know, regular YouTube and it just becomes really messy and I'd really like to have a central point of, uh, you know, questions and answers and, and you know, help and support uh, on our website. That's why I have the website up there. That's why I created the, created the community for you guys is to be able to learn and share together and, uh, you know, it really helps out to have everything centralized so this way in case, you know, somebody down the line has the same question, I can reference them to, you know, the forums and they can go and check it out and, uh, you know, it saves me a little bit of um, grief having to explain it 150 times to 150 different people. So if you could do that, guys, the website's also always linked in the description as well as our Facebook and Twitter pages. Um, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos and uh, hope to have part two of this video out, Google Dorking, which is going to step into, again, a little bit more advanced uh, dorks, uh, you know, to search a little bit further into stuff uh, but uh, you know have fun with these try it out again obviously guys don't do anything illegal um, I'm not responsible for you know anything you guys uh, tend to do so take this knowledge as you will hopefully you'll use it for good use and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching